Welcome back to Castle Ravenloft. We're doing Adventure 6, Destroy the Dracolich. It's down to four health, but we do have two of our heroes knocked out. We have Emeril. Our wizard is knocked out right now, and so is Alyssa. And up first for our episode today is going to be Emeril, who's knocked out. First thing we're going to have to do for him is spend one of our two healing surges uh, to have him revive. Uh, and so his uh, healing surge value is three hit points, so he's going to go back to three hit points. And now it's going to be his turn. So let me think about what I want to do for him. And we're going to zoom the camera down and have him take a turn. All right, what I want him to do, uh, he has a movement speed of six. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six to here. I think that's a good spot. Did I knock him around from somewhere? I think he was here. Six to here. Then he's going to use um, his magic missile as an attack. Uh, attack a monster within three tiles of you. He's going to attack the skeleton because we want to knock the skeleton out. It's going to give us enough experience to bounce an encounter card. Uh, if you miss, you move the monster one more tile towards you. So he would go heading for our wizard. So this could be bad <laughs> if we miss him. So we get plus eight to hit him. Uh, let's get the dice tower in there. Plus eight to hit the... 13 and 8, 21 easily hits the skeleton. Armor class 16. The skeleton is destroyed. Uh, so we get two experience points for that. And yes, we get a treasure card. So let me not forget the treasure card. Ring of Accuracy. Play this immediately. You gain plus one bonus to attack rolls against monsters that aren't adjacent to you. We're going to give this to Alyssa because she's got ranged attack. So Alyssa now has a Ring of Accuracy. All right, I have to change my camera battery, <laughs> so I'll come right back. Then we're going to have the exploration phase, which of course we are not going to explore. And then our main nemesis is going to have a chance to attack us. Ooh. All right, well now it's the exploration phase. And did we explore a new tile? No, we didn't. So we go right into the villain phase, which means we have to draw an encounter card. We do have enough experience now to bounce it. Oh, let's see, a Spirit of Doom. Each hero can immediately move up to his or her speed. After this move, each hero on a tile with no monsters takes a damage. Ooh! Wow, that's actually... That is actually beneficial in a bunch of ways. Wow, we're getting really lucky with encounters. Um, okay, we're going to have... Can move up to our speed. We're going to take our fighter and go one, two, three. We're going to go four for our fighter again, right here, next to the dragon. And we're going to have Emeril, one, two, three, four, five, six. He can just get on a tile, which means no damage for any hero. Of course, Alyssa's knocked out. She doesn't participate in these things, I'm pretty sure. Um, that was the encounter phase. Now we have the lovely, uh, sorry, not the encounter phase. That was the yeah, the encounter card. Now we have the villain attacking, which is this one right here. So I guess we can just get the dice tray out. He is going to attack with a bite. He's going to go for the fighter again. Our Arjun's down to three health. I wonder if we should hit the wizard instead. Um, let's go ahead and attack the wizard with our dragon. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. A two. Wow, a two plus eight is ten, and our wizard's armor class is 14 which means gravestorm misses our wizard doing no damage wow my goodness we're getting super super lucky and that's going to be the end of our wizard's turn up next Alyssa, who is knocked out somebody just readjust the camera we're going to have Alyssa take her turn oh my god i'm getting so lucky so Alyssa's going to recover she's right here she recovers uh, and by recovering, we spend our last and final healing surge of two. Uh, she's going to go to four hit points, uh, is her healing surge value. And so that's, uh, wow, that's it for Alyssa. Uh, and now it's Alyssa's turn to go. She can either move an attack, attack and move. I think she might as well. I wonder if she should just do the careful attack for two she could do the hit and run she could do the hit and run for two but she's not going to get the ring of accuracy plus for it um do we want to do this one and hope to do two damage the dragon is at four health 
I think I think we're just going to do go ahead and do her careful attack. She's going to do one damage to the dragon. It is from four health, dropping it to three health. And now it's Alyssa's turn to move. We really don't want encounter cards, but we can get one of them. I wonder if we just shouldn't move at all. I think she's not going to move at all. Now we're into the villain phase. She didn't explore. We have to draw an encounter card. Keeping in mind, we can bounce this one. Animated armor. Holy crap. Uh, attack each hero on the active hero's tile. Uh, Arjan, Imeril only have three health. Alyssa has four. If they each get hit, no, we have to bounce this one. That is absolutely horrendous. We're spending our final five experience and we are bouncing that encounter. Holy crap. But now Gravestone gets to attack. I'm going to have him attack. I'm going to have him attack Alyssa. Alyssa's got four health. Uh, miss, miss. Eight. She gets plus one armor class for having the fighter on her tile. So eight and eight, 16. Uh, 16. And her armor class is 15 plus one, 16. Uh, just. He just barely bites her, knocking her away to the next tile. So you just follow the arrow. She gets knocked away. She also takes two damage, four health, down to two. Boy, this final battle is getting freaking nasty. Um, all right. Uh, so that was... Yes, we bounced the encounter card and we had the dragon attack. Ouch. All right. This is, I believe... Wow, this is all the marbles. It is our fighter's turn. Our fighter is once again going to try Brute Strike. Plus five, doing four damage. That would destroy the Dracolich. Oh my god, is it going to happen? Plus five, come on. And he gets plus one. He gets plus one, don't forget, because he's on the same tile as Immorel. So that's nine. Nine. Oh my god. <laughs> nine plus five is four. 14, and holy crap, if we look at the armor class for uh, Gravestorm is 14. So he does 4 damage to Gravestorm, absolutely fine doing 4 damage, he only has 3 health left, killing Gravestorm. Oh my gosh, and we actually win the scenario with no healing surges left, and our heroes down, beaten down pretty horribly so wow i oh man i didn't know if i was going to win this one but we did get really lucky with gravestorm missing a bunch of times just going to zoom down a little bit we're going to wrap up our entire series oh my god this was wild and that is going to end off our playthrough of adventure six destroy the dracolich which we did right on so we didn't even have to go any farther that if he had missed oh my god well, I'm just curious. If he had missed, we have to have an encounter card, which we couldn't bounce. What would it have been? A fire trap. <laughs> Trigger the trap during the village phase. Each hero on the tile takes two damage. That would have... Uh, oh, my God. Well, that, that wouldn't have killed everyone. Oh, that would, have been, that would have been bad. So that was our next encounter coming up. We managed to win the scenario by the skin of our teeth. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, once again, that was the D&D &D Adventure Board game, Castle Ravenloft, and that was Adventure 6. So the next time we uh, come back to the series of games, we'll be doing Adventure 7. I'm going through them all. I do have all six of the D&D Adventure games. I do plan on eventually, if I li live long enough, uh, doing all the scenarios from all of them. <laughs> of course, it's going to take me years to try and do that. Uh, what's coming up next? I think I might know. I do have something that's coming in the mail that I am super excited about. Uh, but it's just a matter of when does it get here, uh, how fast can I learn the rules, and whatever. Because I, I don't really want to just jump right into a brand new game, screw up all the rules, and have a horrific playthrough here uh, on my channel. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So thanks so much once again for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, and wow, what can I say? We took down the Gravestorm the Dracolich. So thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next complete playthrough series.